this report live from Jazz Street is brought to you in part by our members and by Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Well, good afternoon and good everyone. I'm Rob Linton, joined by Derek Lucas, and the special guests have started showing up at our booth today. Yeah, first, and we have Mr. Gapman, Joni. Gap, welcome back. Well, thank you. Derek, it's good to see you. Good to see you again, my man. Congratulations on the big show happening on Saturday night, closing up the festival at Xerox. And the Xerox Auditorium. That's yeah. right. And also the 50th anniversary of your first release, Diana and the Autumn Wind. Yeah. No, the CD we had before was in motto, so now this is, you said this is a stereo version of it. Right. The, the, uh, the first version that came out on CD was mono because I had some tapes directly from the session, and unfortunately I didn't notice that they were mono. <laughs> but now they're, they're in stereo, and it's really, first of all, it's, it's, there's some things on there that I just surprised the hell out of me. And... Uh, it, I thought it was a good time to put out the stereo version of it. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking with Gap Man Joni here on Jazz 90.1. So before that was the Xerox Auditorium. That used to be a that used to be a place that people played jazz once upon a time. It was the, the Xerox Auditorium? Yeah. Oh no, the Shakespeare was That's right. The, okay, that was a different part of the building. Okay. In the very basement of the Xerox building, there was a restaurant area uh, with windows looking outdoors, and it surrounded what was at the time a huge ice skating rink. Okay. And uh, so it was on the other side of the building. But yes, we played the Xerox building a very long time ago. <laughs> Speaking to Gap, man, Jody. Mm -hmm. So Gap, you're talking about growing up here in the area, as well as the, I mean, your career and what you've been able to do throughout it, 60 plus years and going strong. So for you, why have you stayed in Rochester? Because you could have had, you had many chances to leave, but you, but you stayed. Well, we did. Uh, there was a time from about 19... 73 through about 1983 or so, 10 years worth, when uh, I, I really didn't play. I came back to Rochester when we weren't working and right. we were playing elsewhere most of that time. Uh, we did some recordings for A&M Records. We did a bunch of things, but um, that was quite the reverse of what had been happening for, for ages, uh, where we'd be playing here and go out very occasionally for a special event. When I came back here, we... Um, Played, we started playing at the Daisy Flower Mill in about 1983 you know, or so. Right. So uh, then it, it again reversed itself. So I was here most of the time, and we'd take a quick, quick run out to other places. But uh, from the Daisy Flower Mill, we went to, um, where did we go? Oh, we, we played there for just long enough until 1987, May of 87, when we opened out at the Lodge at Woodcliffe. Been there pretty much ever since. Wow. Speaking to Gap Man, Joni on Jazz 90.1. So, Gap, what's your take on now your music is being sampled often by different rappers, like now Kendrick Lamar being one of the folks now sampling your music? What does that make? How does that make you feel? Uh, it, it's an interesting experience. First of all, you can imagine how I was surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Delightfully so. Uh, you know, th these don't happen for free. Uh, so that's that's a nice aspect of it. But you know, when we release uh, initially released the Diane and the Autumn Wind album, I had 500 of them made. <laughs> I still have some of them myself. Right. So how someone with this kind of mindset found it yeah. <laughs> and then decided to use it in the var variety of ways that it's been used, it astounds me. Uh, but I'm I'm thrilled. I'm really happy with that. Awesome. Speaking to Gap Man Joni here on Jazz 90.1, closing out this year's festival at the Xerox Auditorium. Gap, congratulations on all the amazing success and well, thank continue you. on. Thank you. And I truly invite you by on Saturday night <laughs> to hear the new big band at the Xerox Auditorium. It's a great band. You'll love it. Absolutely. Gap, thanks so much again, man. Thank you.